So I know you really want to see karma hit their lives hard. I know you want revenge on them for them doing you wrong. I really know you want that. And I know you want to see it. And I know you want them to... I know you want them to see you see them with the karma hit their lives bad. But I promise you, it's not worth it, guys. Do not wait around looking for karma to hit them people's lives. You get your justice by walking away from that situation with the upper hand, knowing that you left that situation and you're good. Go and heal from that situation and just leave them people alone. Like, but don't go or don't be waiting around or, you know, always thinking like trying to seek out revenge and get karma. Like, don't do it because when you understand how energy works, you'll just allow their, their karma to get them whenever and don't even worry about it. You know, because at the end of the day, Karma is just energy exchange. You know, it's a universal law that the energy that you put out and give out to the to the world, you'll come, you'll receive that back. You know, what comes up must come down. As below, so above. As within, so without. So like, if somebody did you bad, then what's going to come back to them is going to be equally bad. So what they did to you has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with, so that's why you should never get caught up in, oh, I can't believe they did this to me. I must be a bad person. No, that has everything to do with them. So where we screw up at is when we want to go ahead and do something back to them to seek revenge. Well, you have to realize their energy is already going to come back to them from when they did bad to you. So when you remove yourself from that situation, they're already going to get it. And it doesn't even matter when it happens. It's going to come back. But see, where we screw up is, is where we come back and want to try to control and try to do something ourselves. And so we'll try to seek revenge on them. So now we put out this low vibrational energy towards them. And guess what? Karma works the same way with us. It doesn't it doesn't escape us because they did something wrong to us. Nope. Guess what? We put out that low vibrational energy. It's going to come back to us too. Okay? Theirs is separate from ours. That's why I said it has nothing to do with you when they did the harm to you. Just like whenever you did that revenge back to them, it has nothing to do with them. It has everything to do with you. I hope this is making sense, guys. This is why you shouldn't worry and get caught up in the karma. Like when somebody does something wrong to you, just allow them. Remove yourself from the situation. Create a healthy boundary and keep distance. Move on. Don't do nothing back to them because it's already coming to them. Now, when you whatever you do after that, if you decide to put out something low vibrational to try to seek revenge, don't get mad when something comes back to you and in, into your life. Okay, like uh, just allow it to work itself out by itself. Don't go seeking karma on them people, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's not worth it. First of all, karma is not a fun thing because when, especially if it's bad karma, because you, when somebody puts out a low vibrational energy like that and do somebody dirty, that's not fun. That's not a funny laughing matter. So the fact that that energy has to come back into this universe and go back to the person who sent it out, that's not fun either. Like, so, I, you know, people get caught up in, oh, karma, karma, karma. No, it, it don't. Like, just move on. I'm telling you, allow that to just diffuse itself. You know what I'm saying? Don't go looking for karma for somebody else. Don't, don't try to play God. I'm telling y'all, it's not worth it. Because your life will be worse off than what it was if you would have just walked away from that situation and left it alone. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video.